Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to new lecture on quantitative and qualitative research design. Whenever research is initiated, researcher has some question in his mind, like which approach should be adopted. So this lecture will help researchers to finalize one of the techniques for his research work. Qualitative research is expressed in words. It is used to understand concepts, thoughts, or experiences. This type of research will help you to collect in-depth insight about a topic and which is not well understood so far. Quantitative research design. It is expressed in numbers and in graphs. It is used test or confirm some hypotheses, theories, or assumptions. This research helps to generalize facts about a topic. Third one is mixed method. So you can combine both a qualitative and quantitative to get the results. For deeper understanding, quantitative research approach focuses on numerical data, the data which has been collected with the help of different techniques and it is based on digits. Number two, cause and effect. So quantitative approach is actually directing the researcher towards cause and effect approach. It means you have independent and dependent variables along with mediators or moderators like that. It also works on predictions. So you would like to uh, solve some problem statement and you will be uh, providing some conclusions uh, and you are predicting something, the future forecast with the help of numerical data. It has the property of quantification and generalization of the results like Generalize means that you can apply results of your research on a bigger population. So it is actually incidence measurement. So there is some event, some, some query, some question, some objective, and you need some future directions, you will use quantitative research. Then quantification, as I mentioned, that you get data that can be quantified, like you can uh, express in an orderly manner in a planned manner and it is it is structured and you will stop the respondent at certain point qualitative approach no numerical data required it is about quality of information what will you collect for your research it directs towards the reasons that something is happening and what may be the factors which are the mediators for some points and the motivation level then how people interpret so you have there is so there is a setting of a problem and you then you will get into it for deeper insight qualitative research is contextual based content based you will uh, discourse you will find some new information it is based on some theme some philosophy and it is textual that you will start writing and expressing your research. However, on the other hand, the quantitative research is experimental and it is correlational. If we will talk about cause and effect relationship, it is correlational and it is descriptive. You will explain the statistics in a manner which is uh, uh, understandable to the audience. The next question is how to collect data for both the techniques like quantitative and qualitative. For qualitative, you can do surveys. You can have a survey. Survey is itself a technique which I will discuss in uh, upcoming lectures. Then observations that you will observe someone doing a task or doing some routine task and you will fetch the results. Then it is secondary research already published. You can guidance. Uh, direction from already published research work then you can do interviews through interview you will ask some questions which you have already developed and then you will get the get the feedback from the respondent 
you can have a focus group of 7 to 10 people. So it is also helpful for collect. If I will talk about uh, quantitative, yes, survey. Survey technique can be used, but with structured questionnaire. Then observations, so we can observe and we can write some digits. Then secondary research is also the part of quantitative and experiments, we can do that. The final question is what to select? So if you are focused for confirmation or testing of some hypothesis or theory, you must adopt quantitative research approach. And if you want deeper understanding of a situation like concepts, thoughts, experiences, you can go for qualitative research approach. I hope this lecture will help you for selection of your research design accordingly. Thank you very much. If you have any question, you can contact me on the given email or you can comment on the lecture. Thank you.